Hi everyone, my name is Ollie and today we're going to be looking at a hand that I defended fairly recently uh, and had a bit had some interesting points to it. The title might come into play a little later. So let's have a look at the hand. So East and West are playing five card mages in a strong no trump. So they opened a heart. East raised to two, and West decided they wanted to play in four hearts. West could be 18-19 balanced with five hearts, or they could have a distributional hand with five or more hearts. Um, and not quite the same high card point value. I mean, there are hands where they've got a shortage in a 16 or 17 count, where they decide to take a, pot, a shot at game. Uh, especially the two opponents I were playing, they bid game first and worry about it later. That sort of pair. So, as we can see, partner leads a diamond, and we get to see dummy. Um, again, this is typical for a five-card major pair. They won't bid a spade here. They will just show the immediate support in hearts just to tell, tell their partner they do have a heart fit. So if the auction does get complicated later, they at least know that they have got a fit. The auction might get a bit messy after, you know, if the auction did start a heart past a spade on a different hand, South could bid three diamonds. West now doesn't know they've got a heart fit, doesn't know how to rate their hand. Um, so East taking a very sensible decision to raise partner, tell them we've got an eight card fit in a major and allows our partner to judge well, allows West to judge whether they should be looking for game or not, even over intervention. So, our partners kicked off with the six of diamonds. Um, our basic lead system is fourth and second. So, fourth from an honour, second without an honour. Um, top of a doubleton, middle of three. Um, so, not not really sure what this lead is yeah but we'll uh we'll have a look as the play develops so so far we're gonna we do normal stuff we haven't reached any critical decisions yet so it goes diamond diamond and we play the 10 and west wins the king typically when we're playing against a trump contract, my partner won't underlead aces. They'll either lead the ace if they've got that suit, or overwhelmingly more likely, they'll just lead a different suit if they've got, you know, a six five or something like this. They'll probably lead a different suit. So because of this, and we know partner doesn't like to lead unsupported aces against Trump contracts, or away from unsupported aces against Trump's Trump, against Trump contracts. We think West has got the ace. So we know West started with the ace and the king of diamonds. It's good information to know. Again, we're going to be following suit here. As West, or declarer, draws Trump's. So he's drawn both mine and my partner's trumps. Partner pitched at the two of clubs, which for me and my partner is encouraging. We play reverse attitude discards. Um, so he likes clubs. Okay. He may have the queen. Or he may have the king. He probably wouldn't do this without either of those cards. And he won't have a shortage because he'd have probably led it a trick one. So, Declara now plays the King of Spades. And partner should be giving a count signal with the North card, but maybe we haven't discussed that. Uh, maybe you guys don't play count signals here. Um, just yet, anyway. You may do in, in the future. So we decide to win our ace, take our trick, and then decide what the critical play is. So we've got one trick, the ace of spades. It doesn't look like we've got any more diamond tricks because they've got the ace and the queen left. And 
we probably don't have anymore. Okay. Spades, it doesn't look promising. If West has got the jack, then they've got all of the top spades. If North has got the jack, my partner, it's in the finessing position. They can always finesse the spade. So it looks like we're going to have to take three tricks in the club suit. That might not be possible if West has got the king. Because if we play a small one, they they win the king, cash all their spades, and they'll come to enough tricks. You know, they'll have five hearts, three diamonds, a club, and at least two spades when they finesse a spade. Yeah. So that's 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 seeming like eleven tricks to me. At least. So figuring out how we're going to beat these contracts is part of the skill of bridge. We know West can't ha well, if West has got the King of Clubs, we can't beat the contract. North said they've got the king or the queen, so we're gonna have to play north for the king of clubs. So if my, our partner's got the king of clubs, we've got the ace of clubs and the king of clubs to come. That's two tricks. We still need a third trick in this club suit. So if we give West, for example, queen and a small one, queen doubleton, or queen and two small ones, queen third, I'll give you, well, as we're on video, you can pause, but take some time if you want to. Try and figure out how we can play the suit to make three tricks. Okay. So if you took some time to pause, that's great. If partner's got the king, if we play the ace of clubs, and we, well, let's say West starts with uh, queen to three or queen third. We start with the ace of clubs, west plays low, north plays low, east plays low. Now if I play a small one, the nine, west plays low, north's forced to win the king because they don't want the ten to win the trick in east. And then the queen and west will be established. Yeah, we forced up, we cash the ace and forced our partners to take the king. The so west queen will be established and we'll still only have two club tricks. If west has queen doubleton, for example, we can't take three club tricks. Even if we play ace of clubs, king of clubs, and the queen drops, when we try and take the third round, they'll rough it. Yeah? And take, and they'll have five hearts, three diamonds, and two spade tricks once they take the spade finesse. Yeah? So cashing the ace and playing a small one doesn't work on both iterations of the, the suit that we thought about. If we play a small one, a nine, West plays small, North is again forced to win the king because they don't want to let the, the, the ten and dummy win. And they return one to us. And now West will have the queen and a small one left sitting over our ace jack. So again, that one doesn't work. The key to this hand is actually that we lead the jack of clubs out of hand. And that seems kind of counterproductive because West's got the queen, East's got the 10. We're just going to waste our jack, right? Or are we? So if we lead the jack and West plays the queen, North wins the king and plays a club through, finessing the 10 of clubs in dummy, and our ace and nine will score two tricks along with partner's king of clubs. If, the jack, if we leave the jack and West plays small, our partner plays small, East plays small. Great, we've snuck a club trick. Now we can take our two boss clubs. Yeah, so the jack is a very counterintuitive play. But when we when we think the queen is in West and partner's got the king, we, if we leave the jack and it gets covered, we've got ace nine over the ten remaining. So we'll actually pick up three tricks. This is called a surround play. We are surrounding the queen with our high cards. This is very, very useful when you're leading through declarer. Leading into declarer, we're not sure what they're holding is, but when the dummy is on our right, we can see what's in their hand. We can then 
play for West to have the Queen and lead the Jack. If West wins the wins the King by magic, we shrug our shoulders and say we weren't beating this contract because we weren't. Yeah. So, using the information that we've got, we're going to play the Jack of Clubs. We can look at all the hands now. West plays the queen. North plays the king. And partner returns a club, like a good partner. We win the ace and cash our nine, setting the contract, taking it one off. Partner only has the king of clubs in their hand. That was that was their whole hand. I mean, they had the jack of hearts as well, but that was pretty much that was their whole hand. So this is a little technique called a surround play. After we exit a spade and they claimed one off because we'd taken four tricks already. The critical point in the hand, when partner leads, we play the 10 because we don't have much to think about. The third hand plays high. When they draw trumps, we're just following suit. When we, when we get in, when we win the lead, it's often decision time where the decision might let through the contract, it might beat the contract. Often, if you're playing a no trump or against two hearts, you might get in once or twice. So maybe the decision points are, you've got more of them. When you're defending game or even slam, if you get in or once or when you're on lead, your decision, if if the contract could be beaten, you will have to make a decision and you have to take your time then. You know, if you're playing a hand, you, I can follow when Declare is drawing trumps, I can follow the trumps all day without thinking, just pulling cards out of my hand, going, oh yeah, another heart, another heart, another heart. Once I win the Ace of Spades, well, even while I'm following with the trumps, perhaps, I do my thinking. I win my Ace of Spades, I can do I can do some thinking now. It is my time, I can figure out this hand. If, for example, I just played a diamond back quite lazily, or even a spade back, that's the end of the hand. All of our, all of our chances to beat it are gone. They'll just cash spades, pitch their club losers, and we go. So while you think, oh, well, there's there's a lot of tricks remaining, let's go back. Here, we've still got eight cards left. You know, we're, we're, we're less than half halfway through the hand. But now is decision time. What we do now will affect, there might be a quick claim after this. So we can take a couple of minutes, think about what we're going to do, and then we might beat the contract. Surround plays. Now you've seen one, you might be able to spot one at the table. Thanks very much, everyone. Lovely to have you, and uh, yeah, subscribe to the Learn Bridge Online channel to get notified about more videos. Thanks very much.